What's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Westside Discs Sorcerer. This one's in VIP plastic. It's a very nice uh, high speed driver with a ton of glide. Uh, I've enjoyed the testing of it quite a bit. I picked it up at the Worlds at the uh, Dynamic Discs RV. It's a misprint because as you can see it's got two stamps on there. So uh, I got a good deal on it but it flies uh, exactly the same as any other one. It just happens to have those two stamps. I actually thought it looked kind of cool so I was really stoked on it. Um, I, uh, I like the VIP plastic. I mean, it's pretty much the same plastic as Opto or, uh, Lucid plastic. It's got a really great feel for, uh, such a high, highly durable plastic. Um, really nice grip to it. There's your stamp, uh, double, doubled up there. You can kind of read the numbers a little bit better. Let's see which one you can read the numbers better on. There you go. So it's a 13 speed, uh, very quick through the air, tons of glide, it's a 6, uh, 0 for turn and a 2 for fade, so it doesn't really, it's a pretty straight flyer overall. Um, you can see that the rim isn't super big, uh, it's not like gigantic, let me throw it up next to another disc I have sitting around just as a quick comparison. That is a uh, Bolt by Latitude 64, I'll also be reviewing shortly here. Um, so yeah, it's not really a huge rim on, on the disc. Give you a look at the profile of it there. I find it to be pretty comfortable in the hand for me. Um, I have I have quite large hands, as you guys might know from watching my videos. And, um, and my grip, I'm power gripping this guy mostly. Uh, feels really good in the hand. Uh, definitely pretty comfortable for, for a fast you know 13 speed disc so yeah I like the uh, the stamp motif that Westside has um, the kind of like uh, Finnish mythology and stuff like that uh, it looks really cool I like their lettering and uh, the whole the whole deal is pretty sweet seems like Westside seems to have some of the best uh, drivers you know a lot of the trilogy players throw a lot of Westside drivers they have really nice uh, nice flying drivers for sure. So this one's no exception. Um, dig the feel of it in the hand. Get good plastic. So in flight, this thing is very straight, stable. Um, for me, I don't have a huge arm. My arms been coming along uh, in the last year or so. I picked up more distance and some more speed. So uh, I can actually feel like I get a pretty nice flight out of this thing. Um, I can throw it on a little Anheuser and. Uh, you know, if I don't overpower it, it'll it'll fight back at the end. Um, I generally throw a lot of like hyzer flips and gentle hyzer lines, and it does really well for that. It also will hold a hyzer very well if you throw it on a strong hyzer, like a high kind of cut in hyzer shot. Seem to do a good job of that for uh, for me. Um, I like throwing it on a slight anhyzer uh, myself. This one's 169 grams. Let's see if I can show you that on the bottom here. That's like right there, but it's not. It's not showing up. There, you can kind of see it right there. There it is. 169 grams. And interestingly, this is a kind of an aside, not really to do with the review. Um, but some evidence has come to light for me uh, through my own testing and kind of uh, you know investigation that perhaps max weight isn't always the most stable. Um, I tend to test a lot of a lot of my discs. I pretty much get in the 160 range for drivers, 165 to 169 or so, is where I like my drivers. And it seems like the ones in the high 160s tend to be pretty stable. Um, uh, sh shout out to DG Weekly. He reviewed this disc, the Sorcerer, and he had one, and it was just really flippy. It seemed like it turned over super easy for him. And this one is definitely not that way for me. Um, I did get it flipped over. If you throw it on a strong Anheuser, you, I can get it flipped over, which is pretty rare for a 13-speed disc for me. Um, and it's definitely not super great into the headwind. I threw it into a stiff headwind and had it turn over really hard, too. So it's not exactly, like, super overstable, but it's definitely not nearly as flippy as the one he tested. So that's just an aside there, um, just a data point. I actually asked that question on the... Uh, Disc Golf Answer Man podcast, another shout out going out on this video, um, and Eric McCabe confirmed the same thing that he has definitely seen in his throughout his years of playing that some of the high speed drivers in the 160s, a high 160s, are actually really stable. And he said that Barry Schultz told him a long time ago uh, the same thing that he swore up and down that the 
Star Destroyers and bosses and stuff were the most uh, the most stable in the high 160s. So take that for what it is. Just a little data point thrown in the middle of this review. But uh, this particular one, definitely nice and straight stable for kind of average arms, maybe slightly above average arms. If you have a big arm, you'll probably find it to be uh, a nice like kind of hyzer flip distance disc. You'll get some flip out of it, but it should still be pretty controllable and the glide is, is tremendous really big distance potential on this disc I got some big throws out of it for sure and uh, I've been enjoying testing it quite a bit I don't know if I'm gonna keep it just because it falls into a similar territory as my trespass and my trespass is just my workhorse overstable disc it just it's not super overstable but it never flips on me accidentally even into the wind um, I get it to fly really nice and uh, every time I break it out it seems to do a good job so um, this one kind of falls in the similar, ter similar territory to, uh, for me in my bag, but as always, don't place any stock in whether or not I'm keeping the disc. If I kept everything I tried, I mean, I'd be switching my bag out so much. I already changed my bag much more than I would like to, to be honest, but I'm always trying out all these uh, great discs, and I try to pick ones that I, I would be interested in checking out. Um, and yeah, they're all, you know, pretty much everyone I, I test has, has good things about it, has bad things about it. Um, so yeah, don't put too much stock in that. But that's my review on the Westside Disc Sorcerer. Great plastic, comfortable feel in the hand for a high-speed disc. Um, it's got a ton of glide, and it's very nice and straight stable. You can feel pretty confident um, in low wind conditions, just throwing a nice strong pull on it without it flipping over. At least this particular one. Um, like we talked about, you know, you might run into some that are, that are much flippier than this one. It's tough to say. But as always, you know, there's only so consistent you can make a golf disc, and even within exact same disc of, you know, you get 10 of them stacked up, you're going to find different flights. Um, that's just how it goes. So thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.